y'all. So this is all my stuff. This is me doing my big girl shit. Period. I know them people can see all the way in here. Fish bowl. This is my apartment right now. This stuff right here is going to get to the door. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the trap house. Turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss an upload from the trap house. Let's get it. So it's morning. It is 1119 a.m. Friday, August 5th. One day until college moving and four days until after the out of my apartment. I'm leaving home, aka my apartment, and I'm getting ready to go run some errands. First stop is pick up the keys to my U-Haul. I got a cargo van. But I'm gonna I'm turn my air up because it ain't that hot. It's 81 degrees, but still, um, I'm gonna need my earth. So that's just what it is. But I'm hungry. I haven't ate since yesterday since um sometime yesterday so i'm hungry i don't know if i'm gonna eat or not um i don't know if i want to drink a coffee again and let that curb my appetite or grab me a bite to eat from somewhere her up because i'm balling on these nigga Kyrie Irving. i'm a ball on a nigga Kyrie Irving. look <laughs> i play too much y'all some of these turns like gotta make some sharp fast ass turns coming out of some of these places because they be sharp curves or whatever and people can come out of there out of nowhere from both directions so when you get your chance to go you gotta book it for real and there was a car coming but he was a distance away but still you don't need to play like that when you get your chance you go period but um Today's agenda, we're going to pick up the keys to you all, just the keys, not getting to you all, because I'm not driving a big ass thing and I don't have anybody else with me who can like drive it while I drive my car back to the crib. So um, I'm just picking up the keys earlier in the day and then um, we're going to get to U-Haul later once my people are flirting. And then what else, what else, what else? All right, also I need to go across town, which is good. Let me shut up. But I mean, if you know what's going on, I don't even know, but I mean, and I mean, it is like, I am going to be saying they was going to, but still, we're going on the south side of town, um, which I think that is considered the south part of Raleigh, um, to pick up some sea moss for my dad, because he was talking about getting it when he get off work after six or seven, and then coming to me, and I'm like, sir, and he was like, if it's not up here, then he going to Durham, I'm like, sir. You know we doing what we gotta do for me, right? I ain't say it like that, but I'm sitting here like, um, how about I pick up your sea moss throughout the day whenever I go out, and that way once you get off at six or seven, we can go immediately like pick up the U-Haul and start packing my stuff because like that's cutting into how much time we got of daylight to get the stuff done together. Because like I said, you get off at like six, seven p.m. It start getting dark at eight thirty. Like, come on now, like, walk. I mean, I don't know. I'm not talking junk, but it's just like, at the end of the day, um, I'm appreciative of everyone's help, but this is just a lesson in general that I be saying all the time. Nobody is going to do for you the way you are going to do for you, okay? Your priorities are not other people's priorities, and other people's priorities are not yours, okay? And nobody's going to care 100%, or, or not even the fact that they don't care, think around it 100 percent the way you are going to think around it because it's yours okay this is all i've been doing the last week and a half it's everything involving school and my job and moving everything when i tell you i realized today well really last night i was like girl you didn't even have a chance to process that you really like to take this big make this big ass change right now i was like damn you really throwing yourself out here with the wolves and you didn't even prepare yourself and not the wolves in a bad way but you really just you're changing your whole environment your whole life's focus right now and you didn't even allow yourself time to mentally prepare that like tomorrow i'm gonna be living with people again tomorrow i'm gonna be in a whole little miniature community again tomorrow i'm gonna even though i may still sleep in my apartment the next few days i don't know but i'm just saying tomorrow i may 
uh, have the responsibility of multiple classes and homework again. Like, there's so many things that are changing in my life starting tomorrow, like having to focus on working and balancing like five to seven classes. All of that is tomorrow, okay? And I didn't allow myself to process that before I started getting all this done. And so I was like, I really hope I can go ahead and get everything situated with moving in, moving in school, moving out of the apartment. So that way um, I can get a little bit of time to rest before I go back to work on Tuesday. Cause classes start on Wednesday and I don't go back to work till like, well, I'm not gonna say what time I gotta go to work. But yeah, so hopefully I get that. Hopefully I'm able to do that. Uh, where's my body oil? Cause I really need that and put no lotion on. Like I don't even be putting my oils or lotions on in the house no more. I be doing all that stuff in the car. But I got my oil. I'm just putting some on y'all. I'm late. I was supposed to be here at 11 to pick up this new hall key. But okay. I didn't start getting ready till like 9 30 something and 40 something so I still didn't do bad timing as far as getting ready because I had to redo my bun I did my makeup showered got dressed all of that so not too shabby huh <laughs> but um y'all this oil right here top two and not two period but um Fuck it up and then leave. Come back. Fuck it up and leave again. Look, I fucked it up yesterday walking in this house. I'm gonna fuck it up again. The motherfucker was look. The motherfucker was staring at me. They ain't know how to act. They ain't know how to act. Them niggas was nervous. I'm like, yeah. I called trying to cancel my reservation, but I kept, I kept getting put on hold. I said it's so polite though. And they're like, oh. I don't even remember if they said my bad about that or whatever. Yeah, whatever they did, cool. They did or they did. Either way, they did their job, finally. I got that canceled. And, um, I got the newest schedule, period. But yeah, so hopefully I'm finished by, say, Sunday night, Monday night in general with all of this. So that way I can be able to rest or, and take in everything on Monday and stuff and then like knock all this editing out for all this footage I've gotten in the last week because I got a lot of it and post it and then Tuesday chill to myself some more go to work in the afternoon and then come back and then classes start Wednesday and let's hope also the classes that I'm waitlisted on I'm like the first I'm the first, I'm number one in line of the wait list. So hopefully someone drop them. I'm in there because my schedule's pretty A1 right now. Um, I'm only going to be working like three hours at my job on the days that I work. So um, kind of dreading it, but girl, you was working nine hours, 10 hours at that job. You can eat up a three hour shift. I'm just saying like, dang, like at the class, all right. I done already been, been to school and focused on just school, like my first three years of Willisburg College. And even whenever I was commuting and stuff, I didn't really have to focus on working. But to now be having like five to seven classes and then on top of that, all the homework and stuff, and I'm bringing work into the picture, this is something I've never experienced before. So I'm just like, girl. And I was tired then, and I was only doing three classes last semester. Only two of them counted, but I, they made me take a support class for that math class. So that's why I ended up, that's why I was taking three. So I was tired then, and I was working like five, six, six hours shifts. Y'all, my makeup looks so perfect. And when I say perfect, like, I mean, like, of course it's beautiful, but it looks so perfect as in, like, too perfect. I like mine to have little imperfections in it. Like, I don't like looking too beat, but I look beat. And y'all, I did this wing liner. And if you know me, you know me wanted by my thing. It looks good, so let me go get this key. Let me make sure I got paid because it's paid away, and that's the only way this music hall is gonna get purchased is if I got paid. Period. All right, y'all. So I'm in the U-Haul. Y'all don't need to see that. That thing says, "Oh, it said five thousand seven miles." There go my two dollies in the back. Yeah, my bag gonna fit in here. It better. <laughs> But, um, 
that window's down. But yeah, this is the U house. All right, so you can see my makeup look like it's starting to slip. My baby hair is already in lay all the way. This is me doing my big girl shit, period. I know them people can see all the way in here, fishbowl. Let's turn the car on officially. Yeah. Okay, Tina, talk your shit. Filling all the way up. Period. But like I said, that 336 miles is going to update later. So, y'all. Uh, deuces. Actually, I'm in. Yeah, you are. Y'all, so this is what we're working with. I took all that down. That's still up. I took what was on the door down. I had a whiteboard up there. The grass, the pictures, the push pins, the tape. It is a few pieces of tape at the very top. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, Because it was a struggle for me whenever I put it up there in the first place. So I'm not going to struggle again. I'm taking it down. Um, the purses, the pictures that were right there, I still got some mess around. But the hardest part is done. The next only hard part left is, like, to pack is the closet. Um, it's still a few stuff in there, but the main stuff are out. That's going on me to school. Everything else in there is going to storage. And they're kind of, like, already packed up, so you don't even really need to, Like, it's just kind of grab and go, but I do want to sort through the stuff on the floor. And then everything else is already stored. It just has to be transported. This is my apartment right now. This stuff right here is going with me to the door. That stuff back there is going to the storage. Um, it's a mess all around, but it's an organized mess. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put on top of this. I wanna put the bin, but I'm like, this, the shoes in the way. I'm gonna have to get them down, but let me hurry up. All right, y'all, so this is all my stuff. Well, not all of it. It's a few more stuff that needs to go in here, but it's like small stuff that I can handle myself. But me and him did that in no time. Like, literally. Light work. I bust a sweat. He bust a sweat kind of immediately, but he been working all day, so I ain't talking about him. Um, but I ain't bust that heavy of a sweat. Excuse me. But yeah, y'all. Um, I'm going inside my hair buckets to grab some hair for me to retouch my edges or maybe my whole perimeter really i want to do my whole perimeter but it's if i feel like it um so i'm going around to do that one of these three was my hair bucket so this must be the hair one here you go. actually here goes the locks right here i don't think i need any locks i don't think any for locks damn i need mean for that to twist over but what i need is the wrapping hair i think this is it yep this is it what we have here is hair and beauty, um, hair and beauty supplies in these three bins. They came from five below. These are my sneakers. Well, some of my sneakers. Two of these bins are my sneakers, sandals, flip flops, all that. So I got two bins full of shoes, and then these boxes full of shoes, and then mattress topper. Um, that's my mirror. My long full body mirror. That's my ring light. I don't know why my daddy sat on top of it, but he got pillows on top of the mirror, so it's not hurting it. Shoe rack, plants. Um, this is my food container. And then, like, two or three of these bins is closed. That's um, room decor and then a few health and beauty supplies. That is, um, don't worry about it. But yeah, all right, y'all. Hey, y'all. 
y'all saw in the previous clip, y'all saw me looking for the hair so that I could touch up my head. So right here, I'm just showing y'all a comparison of the untouched side to the touched up side. Big difference, right? Things you girl did that period. <laughs> Y'all, so it's morning, it's six something, and I'm up finally. I was up at six, really before six, but I couldn't get out of bed. Just needed a moment. I realized that I didn't have my purse that has the rest of my makeup in it for me to do my makeup, and I was like, let me go get that. But then I was like, you know what, let me go and bring something else out while I go out there. So, kill two birds and stuff. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna slide over here. Now I'm gonna try to crunch because I really need to get to the school way before eight. So close this. Y'all had a dream that somebody stole the U haul. And I was going buck wild. That's why y'all playing with me. What? Your phone does it, but get you a watch or like a. Huh? Hey y'all, so right here I was hey, getting what? my COVID test, um, waiting for my results. We had to do that at check-in. So, you know, the little paranoid moment that you go through, even though you know ain't nothing wrong with you, but it's like, it's the moment of truth right here. That's what it was. But as you can see, the girl called me back, said my thing was negative. So I got up and then I had to get a mandatory COVID shot. Thank you. Um, because that's what school required to come on campus, regardless of if you're a commuter or resident. So that was me getting my COVID shot. Well, y'all didn't see it, but I got it. Bullshit. But yeah. <laughs> About to start moving in. About to get my ID and stuff. Alright y'all, so they got me testing out my key. First of all, it opened right up. All right, y'all. So this room right here was not my room. Um, it initially was, and they changed me and my roommate's room assignment the day before moving. So whenever we got there, I was told, and I, when I looked it up online, I saw it as well. But I totally forgot it after she gave me the key, and I still went to the initial room. And so this is just, I, I'm still including this as far as content purposes so that you all, anyone watching this who's interested in attending St. Augustine's University, you can see how this particular layout is, appearance and all that and just in general like it's an empty room tour still but outside of that this was not my room in particular not my view not my nothing so yeah I just wanted to make that disclaimer I don't want my bed blocking the window damn I don't do I don't want to block in the window but I look like that's the only place it can go and I hate these ugly guys blue floors man storage areas under the bed looks like the bed is just gonna have to block the window but i don't want it to because if i turn it this way it's gonna block the door and if i turn it this way it's gonna block the door now unless i just put it down the middle of the room that's the only way it's gonna have to go but new living space in the living room. Okay, nice little view to the football field. Is there somebody in here? Look at all the trees and greenery. Look. I wonder if they can see me. Okay. Little work area. Okay, nice with you here. Real hot girl shit. 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 Real h
That movie ain't one no joke. And we didn't have no help. They turned the elevators off. I want to get on their ass. I'll save it for the pros and cons of my first semester, first year at SAE. But they already on my bad side. Already. But y'all, they turned the elevators off. Either they out of order, which I doubt, but I wouldn't know, or they turned them off. So we had to take the stairs. And I'm not telling y'all what floor I'm on, but it show sure ain't the first floor. Okay. And then they, they ain't get us no help. Thank you, you too. Grandma, you can get in the passenger. Take your time going across that thing. But, um, yeah, y'all, it's ridiculous what we just went through moving that stuff in. They really need to fix their stuff because ain't no reason we pay as much as we pay a piece of student and they can't make sure we're straight. First of all, the air is not on inside of them rooms. So it's hot in there. It's probably hotter in there than it is out here. And to be honest, it ain't that hot out here. But it seemed like it because we're doing all this work. Like, look at my face. And then, um, if we change the thermostat in our rooms, the whole entire suite gets fine. So if I touched it, me and my three roommates all gotta pay $100. That makes no sense. Let me talk to Tanika. Stop. And then um, they, what else they do, y'all? We're literally driving across the sidewalk. You know what? I'll hold it. So, y'all, we're literally driving across the sidewalk. But. When you get to that last one, take your time. Anyways, they were supposed to get us help moving in, but all those teams had practice or tryouts. First of all, y'all know it's moving there. Y'all know people gonna need help. Not everybody has 10 men coming with them to help them move, or even 10 women. So they could have, them players could have missed practice or they could have had tryouts for a different day than moving day when they know people gonna need help and people stay on first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth floors and people gotta take the stairs because y'all too cheap. Y'all too cheap to turn the elevators on. That don't make no sense. And so where am I going? I don't know. You said you was going to the cafeteria. I didn't say I was going. I said they open at 11. Oh. Well, you need to eat something with all the sweat you got. It makes no entire sense. Really? I think this I don't is the way wanna, out. I don't even want to go back in that room. I know where I'm at. I don't even want to go back in that room until they fix, turn that AC on. Then it's tight in there. They don't even have no mattress in there. They changed my room assignment and I don't even got no mattress. Like, what sense does that make? name of the place where you're going you're where you are all right y'all so i'm in my room this is what we're working with this is all my stuff just about um i got a few more things at the house but that's just little knickknacks that can fit in like a bag or a bag like my makeup and stuff um good thing i'm not far from the school so it's really nothing to make multiple trips but this is all my stuff i don't know how long it's gonna take me to get it moved in but I know I'm gonna get it real cute in here, real fancy. But this is my room. Now let's talk about, I already told y'all the other BS from this morning. So let's just talk about how the keys don't work for the doors, how they switched my room assignment, like between yesterday and today. And part of my headboard is peeling off, tacky. And then 
No one else has mattresses inside my inside my apartment. Okay. Not going to the bathroom. Big ass cockroach on the floor. Sink has mold residue. My grandma said probably from water not draining efficiently in here. Um it's like a little dirty in the tub as well, but that can get cleaned out. It's just the principle behind it. Y'all having us pay all this money and y'all can't even do the bare minimum, which is make sure our keys work. Make sure that y'all survey and clean these rooms before we get in here. Even though we're going to clean them again ourselves. But it's like, we shouldn't walk in to bugs on the floor. Like, why y'all y'all doing room checks before y'all got people moving in? And then, um, why aren't y'all checking keys before people move in? And... Why don't y'all have the AC on? And then if we touch it, we get fined. Another one, right here in the floor, smack dab in the middle. That, that makes no sense. That one in the bathroom too. I could've swept these floors or whatever. But. You gotta get a cushion to go on in. I, I have one. Oh, you got a mattress cover too? No, it's supposed to be one in here, so they got to break it to me. There go that broke bed if I ain't already show y'all. All right, y'all, real quick. So whenever I came up here doing my voiceover podcast style, it was my intention to just let y'all know why I was not able to give y'all a definite answer on whenever I'm going to be in a dorm tour out because it is my intention to get a dorm tour video out for y'all. But I ended up going off on a tangent explaining my experience here at this university thus far and all the um, situations that I've been through that made my situation like very mis unfortunate and very horrific for me and very discouraging depressing all that so with that i ended up going off on that tangent it was very um unintentional but maybe it was something i really need to get off my chest because it's something i've been holding in and i've been very polite as far as trying to get it done and it's still not handled officially yet but um I'm still trying to put out that positive energy, but I did need to get that off my chest. Clearly, it took over. And if you don't want to sit through that, I totally understand. Just skip through the video. Um, there is more clips to come, but it's podcast style. So if you need to hear, if you feel like you want to hear it, go watch it. It's five minutes long. I put heels in there. All right, y'all, so let's be clear. We clearly ran into a lot of malfunctions and disruptions on the school's behalf regarding the move-in process. There were a lot of things took that place. took place that I was not fond of, and I'm sure any other person in my position, any other student, any other adult, because let's be clear here, I'm not a child. I'm not one of these 18-year-olds moving in here, first getting their first width of freedom, etc. I'm an adult. I am 22 years old. I've been living on my own the last two years. As a matter of fact, I've been on my own since I was 18 as far as going onto a college campus and staying there for two years and then going on out and having my very own apartment no roommates no nothing for two years i've experienced my fair share of adulthood thus far paying bills adulting all that y'all check my track record watch my videos okay so with that said if there's a if there is something taking place that's disrupting my peace i'm gonna speak on it I'm not going to halt myself for anyone because if it's wrong, it's wrong. And if it should have been handled, it should have been handled and it should have been handled efficiently. OK, so with that said, I don't mean to have any hostility, but this is this is just in case for the record. This is not me painting a certain narrative about an establishment. None of that. If it happened, it happened. And if it happened to me and if it hurt me, if it disrupted my peace, because when I tell you I had a horrible two weeks. So when it comes to things that happen that are disadvantage to me that should not have happened, I am going to speak on it. And it's not even like I have to speak on it in a negative light. But if I want to open my mouth and say something, I'm going to. As far as bringing awareness, teaching a lesson, that is my purpose. So that is what I'm going to do. So with that said, if me opening my mouth about something that I went through that, caught, that wreaked havoc on me in more ways than one, is a disadvantage to someone else, even though they're the one that did it and caused it. That has nothing to do with me and everything to do with you. Take some accountability. Take some awareness for yourself. Okay? Because we pay too much money, tuition, fees, all this to this establishment for me to come here and not have working air in this whole entire apartment. We pay too much for me to come here and get a parking ticket even though I got a parking pass and I parked correctly. For the most part. We pay too much money for me to come here and not have a mattress for three days. 
What if I was an out-of-town student and didn't have access to my apartment anymore? Where, where did they expect me to sleep? On the floor? On that hard-ass mattress? On that hard-ass bed that y'all just saw me show? The one that's missing half the headboard peeling off? The same apartment that had mold inside the sink? The same bugs on the floor? That ain't got nothing to do with me because I want to bring it up and bring awareness as far as standing your ground and as far as what I went through in my experience. So if anyone is upset about that, that's a reflection of themselves. Because if you're wrong, you're wrong. And I didn't mean to go off on a tangent the way I did, but I'm going to include all of this in the video. So if y'all decide to skip through this part, I understand. If y'all decide to stay and listen, I understand. Understand that I'm just bringing awareness to this, okay? Because no one should have to go through this. It's been a lot for me, and it's been a lot for my fellow roommates, okay? And I'm still going through this right now. And my whole point of bringing this up, even though I, I, I didn't expect to go off on a tangent the way I did, my whole purpose of bringing this up was to tell y'all that y'all will get a dorm tour, a dorm room tour, whenever I'm established in either this exact room that I'm in now with a um, AC unit running through here, cooling it down, so that way I know that I'll be comfortable and then I'll fully decorate the room and y'all get a dorm tour or y'all get a dorm tour whenever I move into another um, room, which I really don't want to have to do. And th But if I end up in another room, that one will be decorated and then y'all will get a dorm tour then. So that was my whole purpose of bringing that up. But I guess it was heavy. It was something on my chest that needed to be said because this is a situation that still has not been handled effectively to this day. I'm still going. I'm still hearing words and excuses, but nothing has happened. So I guess this is something that was weighing heavy on me that I needed to get off of my chest because I've been very polite in this process and I've been very... I've been very polite and I've been very on it, but I guess that's not enough. But you know what? I'm not going to block my blessings. I'm not going to put out that negative energy, even though it seems like I have to, because at the end of the day, that's going to do nothing but come back on me. And I want nothing but positivity to come back on me. So that's what I'm going to put out for the most part. But if I'm going to bring awareness to this and open my mouth and speak on it, that's what I'm going to do. But as far as directing negativity, as far as directing rudeness and attitude towards someone, I'm not going to do that. But in my YouTube video, where I'm speaking about a topic that's, that's happened, about a situation that's happened and a disadvantage to me, oh, I'm going to do what I want because it's my channel. Bye. These are all of my slides and crocs and sandals. Then we got the tripod. We have me. These are all my pictures that need to be hung up. Here's my body products um calendar this is old all the way from june fridge beauty health and beauty products plant and then we have all the clothes and shoes stored in the closet i do plan on breaking the clothes out but honestly i probably won't and then yeah some of this stuff need to come out like i think i'm gonna take these pillows home but for now i'll keep them and then um there's my hamper to go through Thanks. There's the snacks. You see? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we have Bahama Breeze. I was gonna say Bahama Mama. I think that's the name of the drink I had got though. Yep, yeah, Bahama Mama, and it was so good. I'm gonna get it. I don't think I want pasta again yeah, today. Pasta. Did we get the full portion or the lighter one last time? I want to test these niggas out. Okay. And that's what I'll be saying too. But you know what happens? When I find that, not that I'm looking, but whenever I come across that one who really piques my interest, I, one, I stop looking and the other ones are nothing to me because they're not even giving what he's giving anyway. So why would I continue to talk to them? And then I'm just talking to him. And then boom, the feelings. And that's what happened with Y'all look at the scenery. Palm trees. You think you in Florida, bitch?